Tail of the tape now for the third meeting between Manny Pacquiao and Derek Morales. Manny Pacquiao, 27 years old at the very peak of his career. Eric Morales regarded by some ring experts as potentially an old 30. So many wars, so many big rounds, so much intensity in his career. A ha an inch and a half height advantage for Morales. An arm length advantage, advantage measured from the armpit to the end of the fist of one inch for Pacquiao. They both weighed in a pound under the 130 pound limit tonight. Morales has gone up only to 139 unofficially, while Pacquiao has put on 15 pounds of rehydration to go to 144, so Manny, for the first time, will enter the ring with a functional weight advantage against Morales. Punch stat numbers from preceding fights. In the first fight, as you can see, Pacquiao threw many more punches, but Morales landed many more punches. Round one begins. Will it be a boxing match? Will it be a brawl? Will it be a little of both? Morales looking like he wants to engage. Pacquiao just figuring out what he's doing. Pacquiao's belief is that Eric Morales wants to come and try to get him early. After what happened in the last fight, Pacquiao believes that Morales doesn't believe in his gas tank doesn't think he can go down the stretch with the Filipino slugger. So Manny thinks that Morales is going to try to impose his size early. But tonight, yeah. on official weights, Manny's the bigger guy. Well, uh, you know, the fact that Morales wanted to use the puncher's gloves also created a little interest to me, at least. Normally, he would be asking for the winning, but he wanted to go with the gloves that Pacquiao wanted, which means I think he wants to go for the punch, power punch in this fight early. Indeed, there's been quite a story of the gloves since the first fight. In the very first fight, Eric Morales had a contract that required both fighters to wear winning gloves. They are called pillows by some. They are more hand protective than punch promoted. In the second fight, they got to wear the gloves they wanted. Morales wore winning. Pacquiao wore his beloved Reyes punches gloves and knocked Morales out, which he had said would be the case. Now in the third fight, both fighters choose to wear the puncher's glove, Reyes. Pacquiao's already landed a couple of good body punches to test Morales' not only his defense, but long-term his stamina. Well, Morales made to wait, as I said earlier, but I just don't think that that's the proper weight for him at this age and time in his career. And going down the stretch, I think that may be a big factor, too, as well as the hard fights that he's had. And if Pacquiao thought Morales was coming to try to get him early, Eric has shown none of that in the first round. As he nearly stands his ground in the middle of the ring and takes a right hook from Manny Pacquiao, who was so much better with his right hand in the second fight than in the first. Another right hook lands. Manny consistently beating Morales to the punch so far. And Morales countering with a right hand that knocks Manny back. Yeah. And Morales again countering properly upstairs. And Pacquiao comes back with his own assault. Yeah. And both fighters' crowds are on their feet. You know, look, technically, Pacquiao is not a solid fighter, as everyone in boxing knows. He often gets out of position often with his punches and does a lot of things awkward and unorthodox. But still, there's so much fight in him that it takes him through. In this case here, I just don't think that Morales is strong enough. And when he misses his punches, I'm looking at his legs. His legs doesn't seem to be that coordinated. For these fighters, this is just a warm-up round. been a one-up round but the crowd found a lot to hoop about and when we go to Eric Morales's corner where his dad speaks Spanish our interpreter is Ray Torres okay you gotta throw it on, on, on the top yeah, yeah, throw that left hook to the body. The, yeah, you're too far away. Get closer. You have to stay off the ropes. That's the only sound you got hit. Okay? Yeah. Stay off the ropes for me, okay, son? Yeah. You feel the ropes coming up and you get off them, okay? You do your job and get off them, okay? Right here you see Pacquiao land a, a right counter, jab hook or whatever you want to call it, that Morales just didn't see. He was coming in and didn't see it. Once upon a time, Pacquiao only had the left stuff. 
He's got the right stuff behind it now. That was one of the big changes between fight one and fight two. Comedy box numbers in round one. Pacquiao 15 out of 41. Morales 10 out of 41. Pacquiao with a 10 to 5 edge and power connects. You saw that Judge Harold Letterman, our unofficial scorer, gave the first round to Manny. Pacquiao crowd chanting Manny, Manny, Manny. Morales, who landed some good right hands in the first fight, tried to drive Pacquiao back with right hands there, but Manny comes back with a torrent of punches from his own. Back house, and of course you have ardent spirited Mexican and Mexican American Morales Rooters sitting next to and among ardent spirited Filipino and Filipino American Rooters for Pacquiao. What's interesting, a lot of the Mexican fans like Pacquiao themselves, too, because of his style of fight and being so aggressive. And because of the Spanish-speaking tradition of the Filipino archipelago. Or the Philippine archipelago. Another body shot by Pacquiao. And to get close to the ropes, and Morales throws his right hand, you can see why Freddie Roach asks his fighter to stay away from the ropes and in the center of the ring. Good jab by Morales, sweeping right hand, partially blocked. Now Pacquiao lands a right and a left, and another right hook, and a left hand over the top. The sheer aggression of Manny Pacquiao, difficult for every opponent. He looks so strong and so sturdy as compared to Morales. Even though Morales is landing, he seems to be still uncoordinated as compared to... Down goes Morales on a Pacquiao right hand. Left. 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 And, and, and Morales thought that he had Pacquiao in uh, trouble. Yeah, just... He got over, he got overexcited, overextended himself, and left himself open. I just don't think he has the strength that is standing with the whole other Pacquiao. That was the fourth time in his career that Eric Morales has been knocked down. Two of them were in the last fight against Pacquiao, and they led ultimately to the end of the fight. The first knockdown of Morales' career was a glove-touching brush with the canvas against Marco Antonio Barrera in the 12th round of their first fight. So he's never exactly been thunderously put on his back, but he goes down easier against Pacquiao than against anybody else he's ever fought. That's because of how quick Pacquiao's fists are, and he doesn't see the punches coming, Jim. Pacquiao again landing his straight left hand. Morales chases him and lands a right. They trade punches at the rope. And when they trade punches, Morales takes a gamble with Pacquiao's strength and power. Pacquiao is a two to one favorite in this fight. So far, justifying the odds. But Morales is a fighter, so he's going to fight all the way until this fight is over with. Don't just stand in front of him. Keep, hey, keep his distance. And he throws so many punches, sometimes it's hard to isolate the knockdown punch, Emmanuel. Let's here, take a look. Here you see Morales coming in with an attack, um, but Pacquiao, but Pacquiao just shoots a punch, but Morales was out of position and knocked him down. A lot of, a lot of was balanced. Hit him with both the right and the left, got him to go down. CompuBox numbers in two, and you see the flurry with which they ended the this, round. This is vintage Morales here. Fighting back after he's he had been down in the round. Always wants to get the last punch. The great fights with the world was attributed to that attitude of his of wanting to have the last punch. Letting his hands go, Eric Morales threw 80 punches in the second round, but Manny Pacquiao throwing only 55, landed 24, three more than Morales. So Pacquiao a little more precise, and you won't often say that. Normally he's just throwing because he is a noisy storm in the ring. Pacquiao is fighting a much more intelligent fight now than he did earlier, about four or five years ago. I think him and Fede Roach have worked a lot. His jab is a lot better. Even right to he tried to counter with a jab after blocking a jab. Pacquiao landed a right hand upstairs. Eric Morales got to his body with the right hand. Pacquiao much more focused on landing his jab in this fight than was the case in the first two fights. Solid left hand, backs Morales up. Crowd loves it. And unlike some punches, Manny does have head movement. Yeah, that was, a, it was almost reminiscent of a little Aaron Proud, where he punched the body and then comes up on top. 
Eric Morales, not afraid to fight with one of the most dangerous punches in the sport. Eric Morales likes to get that last punch in. He has the kind of will that allows some men walk over hot coals. A right hook, a punch that Hard right hand, hand stun Morales. Pacquiao's all over him. Thinks he's got a chance. He, he Morales slightly staggered after that last left hand. And down he goes. Solid left hand shot by yeah. Pacquiao, who did not like Morales saying that he didn't hurt him with punches in the second fight. Pacquiao was insulted by that. Yeah. He said, okay, I'll hurt him this time. But he's a fighter. He's going to fight still. He's not going to try what, to run what is, what is the referee doing? Why is he holding he's the fight? He's to go back to the neutral corner. <laughs> oh, what a solid left hand by Pacquiao. It's hard to but, imagine but, how Morales can last long against this. Well, until he goes out, he's going to be fighting all the way down. He's not going to back up. What guts by Morales. Yeah. He strafes Pacquiao with right hands, even while on unsteady feet. And he is hurt. And he holds on for one of the first times in his career. He's 30 seconds to go. Another huge left hand by Pacquiao. Punch after punch after punch. And he wants to finish Morales right here. And the brave heart of Morales holds up, but his legs go again. Third knockdown of the fight by Pacquiao against Morales. He doesn't want to get up. Morales shakes his head as if to say, I want no more. That is that. Dick Dracula stops the fight, and Pacquiao has the knockout. He looked into the corner, looking for his father, as if to say, Pop, I tried my best. I don't have it anymore. Eric Morales was overwhelmed. Manny Pacquiao goes to another level. Manny Pacquiao is a big draw. I think this unbelievable crowd is mainly an attribute to a new superstar, Manny Pacquiao, because after such a devastating performance the last time, I never thought they could draw this people. But he's brought the people here because of him and his excitement. Tremendous excitement. Manny Pacquiao fights the way you want to see a fighter fight. I expected the fight go exactly as it went. Well, you were skeptical all week as to whether Morales could produce the one big effort that so yeah. many people thought he would. He made to wait, but he made to wait, and that's like Ali made to wait for his last fight with Larry Holmes, but it was not to wait to be able to perform on a top level in sports. It's no good for him, in addition to the wars as his hand. And then he's with a, a very great, strong, young fighter. All right, Manny, let's take a look at, and I'm saying this, Emmanuel Stewart. Well, let's take a look at some replays. Manny's name is Emmanuel, too. <laughs> his real name. <laughs> It's just everything. It's just too much of an attack, the intensity, the fury. The wrong thing for an Asian fighter. It's hard to uphold precision and craft when yeah. a guy is just overwhelming you. And he punches good with both hands now. It used to be with a simple one-two puncher with a straight left. Now he does a right hook, uppercuts, everything. Now, shortly after this second knockdown, if the camera angle shows it to you, you will see, exactly as Larry Merchant said, Eric Morales stares into the corner and looks at his father. Well, that's the same look that I said before that I saw when he went down the last fight, even though he said it wasn't from a punch. And I saw the same thing with Arturo Gatti. And that's the worst look at else when he say, I'm done. I'm finished. That's the look right there. And Alexis Aguello did it the second fight with Aaron Pryor. The same look. I'm done. 